Hi, my name is Jonathan Dixon, Vice President of International Corporate Services at OCC Markets Group. Today, I'm joined by Dr. Karl Meyer, Head of Investor Relations at Roche. Roche has a primary listing on the Swiss exchange and cross trades into the United States on OTCQX International Premier under tickers RHHBY and RHHVF. Thank you for joining us, Carl. Yeah, thank you for inviting me for this interview. Can you talk about the role Roche has played as a pioneer in healthcare and diagnostics and more recent FDA clearance for its new high-speed coronavirus testing? Yeah, sure. Um, um, thanks for the question. So we are the largest producer of cancer medicines worldwide. Um, we are also amongst the largest producer of immunology um, medication worldwide. And we, under the Roche roof, have uh, the largest so-called IVD diagnostic division uh, worldwide uh, turnover of about 13 billion. So it's not nothing. And we could recently introduce a test to find out if a person is a carrier of COVID. So this is, of course, very important to know uh, uh, what you have to do uh, in terms of medication or in terms of isolation or how to treat the patient. And very soon in May, we'll have a new test to find out if somebody had COVID. So in other words, if this person potentially can be sent back to society, we know that some patients uh, or some people uh, overcome COVID without having any signs or signals. So they are silent carriers. And it's very important to find out uh, whom you can basically send back uh, to society and whom not, in particular, as maybe the only real good solution forward is vaccines. And we know that maybe the vaccine approach will still maybe take another one and a half to two years. Okay, thank you. And um, what are the ways in which Roche demonstrates its commitment to scientific rigor and access to medical innovations for all? Could, I mean, the times have uh, really changed uh, over the past uh, 20, 30 years. I mean, society is only willing to pay for clearly differentiation for medicines where you can really make a difference. And our life cycles, our uh, value chain is a, is a rather long one. Yeah. We need uh, 10, 15 years to develop a certain product. So you have to embed the innovation part in, in your genes, in all what you do. And this is also what we what we do in the in the value chain. So we have um, uh, the highest number of so-called breakthrough therapy designations. So this is a kind of a, of a signal from the FDA that your research is really good. We have about uh, 10 to 15 publications every year in Science, Cell, and Nature. Um, if you compare this number, let's say, with a uh, high qualified institute in the Cambridge, so the Oxford, or so the MITs, maybe they publish uh, one or two per year. So that gives you a kind of a, of a feel if a company is doing 10 or 15. So that is a lot. We have a lot of uh, postdocs, um, more than other companies. We have a good exchange between universities and um, us, that between academia and, and research. We're like a large university, I would like to say, huh? but in the service for patients. Yeah, okay. Um, how does Roche vary its approach to differentiated medicines such as oncology, immunology, infectious diseases, ophthalmology, and diseases of the central nervous system? Yeah, this is a very good uh, question, I have to say. I mean, in the past uh, years, um, uh, we better understand cancer now. So we can even enable survival for patients in cancer types which were very deathly before I'm talking about melanoma and talking about bladder cancer so there is a lot of uh, hope and there's a lot of things happen in the in the past immunology uh, basically the same uh, it's the other side of the coin yeah so i mean uh, cancer occurs when the immune system is not doing its job and immunology is happening when the immune system is doing a too good job then because the immune system is then attacking its own healthy cells like in rheumatoid arthritis or multiple sclerosis. So we better understand certain diseases, but we also do not understand other diseases like CNS, for instance. If there are multi-causal uh, reasons for a disease, if it could be environment or it could be family uh, 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 prone or other things. So CNS is really the next chapter to open. Um, Unfortunately, I have to say the biggest burden for society at the moment is CNS. Um, so if you look at the, the burden uh, for society in terms of lost uh, days, uh, work days, 
we call it the so-called quality is it CNS is very up in the top. So we have also to invest in those things, of course. Uh, but we also know that the risk is quite high. So we have a good mix of where we know that we have a higher likelihood of return and a lower likelihood for return. Okay, thanks. As the world's largest biotech company, how does trading on the OTCQX market complement your overall IR strategy and better position the company among US and North American investors? Yeah, uh, I mean, yeah, I have to go back a bit into the history. I think we were the first one to tie up with you on OTCQX. Uh, and at the time, we were already amongst the largest uh, market cap companies in Europe. I mean, at the moment, we are the number two, actually, uh, behind Neste. So it's uh, quite a size. Huh? And at that time, we were, forgive me, a bit of a, a smaller setup. Yeah? And we didn't know if it will work, up, uh, work out at that time, um, because we knew that we want to have a kind of a foothold into the U.S. market. Uh, but we didn't know if you guys will do a good job. Uh, so, but you tried it, huh? and I have to say it was the right decision. Uh, so, it was a, a good combination, and maybe this is also some something which is in the genes here. We had to take a decision years ago without knowing uh, uh, where we will end up, uh, but uh, it was the right decision. Huh? So, thanks for the good cooperation we had with you over the past years. Thank you very much. Good to hear. Well, uh, thank you for joining us, Carl. Um, we wish yourself and Roche. Continue success in the future. Thank you.